Christ alone will I glory Though I could pride myself in battles won For I've been blessed beyond measure And by His strength alone I overcome Stop and count successes Like diamonds in my hands But those trophies could not equal To the grace by which I stand In Christ alone I place my trust And find my My source of hope is Christ alone. In Christ alone will I glory, for only by His grace I am redeemed. And only His tender mercy could reach beyond I'm so excited that you're here, that you're watching, that you're joining us. Thank you so much. Honestly, I could just scream. I won't because it would hurt your ears, but I am so <laughs> excited about my new project, Seasons. That's what we're here to celebrate tonight. To celebrate, I'm just going to let you know right from the get-go, you can order a CD, which I know is now a vintage thing. But here's the cool thing about these CDs. I have signed them. So I have autographed these copies of CDs and you can get it for $5 just tonight only. We're doing it because I want to get as many copies in your hand. Cause this is the thing. There's something for me still about holding something tangible. So I stream my music. I stream it, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, however you like to listen to your music. 
but there's nothing that will ever replace for me the tangible item of being able to hold something in your hands, to be able to read a lyric while you're listening. I've included stories for every song and it'll have my signature on it. You don't want to miss grabbing your copy for $5 and here's something else. I have never done vinyl before ever in my 20, almost five year career. And for the first time ever, you can get this on vinyl. So you wanna grab your copy of that. I can't think of a better record to do that with because so many of these songs are throwback songs. Seasons, this whole project is, they're songs from different seasons of my life from when I was a little girl until now. And honestly, the entire concept, right, Burn? The entire concept of this project and the reason that we're doing it like this to celebrate tonight is because we were inspired from hearing from all of you. It was 2020, we were all locked in our houses and we started doing songs from our living room. It might look a little bit different tonight because I'm not in my pajamas and I've actually showered and I have makeup on, but still it's how this all started, which was Bernie at the piano and me singing songs that I was hoping were gonna encourage you, but the truth is they were encouraging me. They were songs and I started going back to songs from my childhood. I started going back to songs when I was in high school. I went back to songs when I was in college. And I started hearing from so many of you about what these songs have meant to you or how they were inspiring you or how they were becoming an anchor for you. And that is how the concept of this season's record started. So I'm gonna sing a few of these songs for you tonight. And I cannot wait for you to experience the soundtrack of my life. That's what this is, Jesus and Jesus music. Those have been the two constants of my life. I love Christian music, I love gospel music. You're gonna hear influences from both on this record. This song that I wanna sing for you is from a really interesting season that a lot of you don't know. And that is when I first moved to Nashville and before I got a record deal, and even when I first got my record deal, one of the ways that I just started in the music industry is I was singing demos for songwriters or I was singing background vocals on other artists' records. And it was such an incredible experience for me to be able to get that studio experience before I had to do it on my own. And one of the songs that I got to sing the demo for is this song I'm gonna sing for you now. And I remember being back in that little studio on Music Row in 1998, I think it was. I think the song might have come out in 99 or 2000, but I did the demo for it in 1998. And um, I remember going, oh my word, this is an incredible song. And they ended up pitching it to Leanne Rimes who recorded that for the Jesus soundtrack. Um, but what's amazing to me is that I've had the privilege of being on Curb Records for the last 21 years. And one of the reasons I got signed to that deal is because Mike Curb fell in love with the voice that sang the demo on the song, I Need You. And I was the original demo singer on that song. And now all these years later, I finally got to record my own version. Things I can get by with nothing. All the blessings life can bring, I've always needed something. But I've got all I want when it comes to loving you. You're my only reason, you're my only truth. moves me to come 
salt winds rage And you're so amazing Cause that's just how you are And I can't turn back now Cause you brought me Okay, so I remember when I first moved to Nashville, right? I mean, that was like a really important season of my life. This amazing family, Tim and Jennifer Ranson, took me in, let me live in their bonus room, and I had $200 in my pocket, and no music opportunities open up at all, and I'm like, okay, I don't, this is not the dream. Like, I, I need to now go find an apartment, but how am I gonna pay for it? So I ended up getting this job that I really, really, really disliked. Um, it was, I was doing accounts payable at Medicare <laughs> and I would drive down I-24 every day towards Metro Center Boulevard. It was 1996, the preacher's wife had just come out. I fell in love with the soundtrack. I had this beat up car that if you went over 55 miles an hour, literally the, the car would start to shake, the steering wheel would start to shake. But I had a working cassette player, okay? And every single morning on the way to that job that I hated, I would listen to Whitney Houston sing the song Step by Step. It was just that thing I needed to go, okay, this may not be, this may not be like the dream. In the moment, this looks kind of not at all like what I thought it was going to look like. But she gets to that part at the end of the song where she goes, Come on, baby, got to keep moving. Come on, baby, got to keep moving. And it's like, okay, I would sing that to myself every day. Just take it step by step. Every one of these steps, just keep following what God is doing. Like, I just look back and I'm just so overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, it is surreal to be listening to this as I'm driving by. It's very rude. Someday Dolly Parton was going to ask to sing that song with me. Little did I know that about, I don't know, 15 years later, 18 years later, God was going to lead me back to Great Circle Road. And he was going to do it through a church and a ministry that was going to change my life. <laughs> God always had a plan and and he was always working. He was working even in a location and I didn't even know it yet, but he was working and he was he was giving me an opportunity to be obedient in the little things. It was like all the while he was saying, "One of these days I'm about to blow your mind." Like just hold on, keep on obeying, keep on following, keep on taking that step by step because one of these days I'm about to blow your mind. And as I drive now down to this place that I used to drive every day for my job, it's across the street from what is now the Belonging Co. I would go in, go through the back. I worked up on the top floor. Um, and this is what is even crazier, you guys. So 
we have just moved the location of the Belonging Co. College, okay? So now the very building I was working in, the Belonging Co. College is in it, and the director of that college, Brenda Rasmussen, back in Seattle, she was my youth choir director, her husband was my junior high pastor, and now here we are, they're in Nashville, they're in ministry at the Belonging, and now she's leading this college, and I'm like, what is even happening? How is God bringing all of these full circle moments? Like, mind blown emoji. <laughs> oh my word. I really, I don't know how else to say this, but look at how pretty it is. Pretty. And you have to see the back because this like looks so like dreamy. And if you only knew what was happening <laughs> underneath this dress. I was wearing hip waders, like it looks like this incredible, but this was a whole situation. Multiple times I almost fell out of this boat. I'm pretty sure this gorgeous dress got ruined, but it was all for the cause and worth it for the shot. This is so honestly, this vinyl, it has this beautiful inside. Look at, I told you the stories about all the songs. You want this, it's beautiful, and I can't get it back together, and I need somebody, I need somebody to come get it from me so I can sing another song, and I'm so sorry. So sorry, Jess, you're a lifesaver. Thank you, thank you. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, you can reach out your hand And oh, someone will come running And I know they'll take you comes crashing through and when you need a friend to carry you and when you're broken on the ground you will be found so let the sun come streaming in cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again lift your head and look around and you will be found yeah a place where we don't have to feel unknown no. and every time you call out you're a little less alone oh and if you only say the word oh, from across the silence your voice is heard oh cause even when the dark comes crashing through and when you need a friend to carry you And when you're broken on the ground You will be found So let the sun come streaming in Cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again Lift your head and look around And you will be found And when you need a friend to carry you 
And when you're broken on the ground You will be found So when the sun comes streaming in You'll reach up and you'll rise again Lift your head, look around And you will be God is so intentional. Okay, so I would go to this job that I did not like every day to Metro Center Boulevard. Little did I know that a year after that, I would end up signing a record deal, okay, with a record company called Benson Records. And they were literally like a half a mile from that job. Like, so here I was driving that road, thinking I'm going to this place I hate, but I'm actually now driving that road and going to something that's leading me to what I had dreamed about. Starting route to 365 Great Circle Road. Turn left, then arrive at your destination. I can't turn left. Oh my gosh, did they tear it down? Maybe. This is turning, no, they did. That's 421 already. 365. Okay, so here I am at the spot where Benson Records used to be. And I have to be honest that that was actually a point in my life where I was so confused. Because I'm like, I got this record deal, and then the record company goes out of business. And it was like, it was so confusing and a very difficult season of my life. And very difficult to keep trusting God. But here on the very same road where God, like, allowed something that, that I thought was like it. He's like, it isn't it. It's the counterfeit. It's the thing that you think is it, but actually I'm building something. I'm building something for you that you can't even see yet. And right down the road from where this building is, is a place that has just literally become home for me. And that's the belonging. And I just, it is not lost on me that in this spot that I thought was it, God tore that down. And he was building something greater. And I think what a like real life analogy right before my eyes that God is like, guys, you think that there's something that's like being destroyed in your life. But if you just hold on, God literally will build. He's building something for you that you can't even see yet. And it is so much greater than what you could have ever imagined for yourself. Like that's the part, like I, as I'm telling these stories of these seasons of my life, I try to put myself back there. Like I try to go back to that moment where I'm sitting in my Volkswagen Golf, you know, the steering wheel shaking and I'm, you know, be bopping down the freeway singing step by step. And I try to think if I would have known then, right? God is doing so much in my life now. And it's just crazy to me that he's brought it full circle on Great Circle. Okay, turn this part up. just never get over this collaborations list on this record. Honestly, like so many dreams come true for me. And I remember when I found out that Erica and Tina, Mary Mary, said yes to remaking Shackles with me. I was like, I could not believe they said yes. Forever grateful. Everybody loves Shackles. I remember the first time I heard it. I remember bopping in my car to it. It's still on my playlist. Nothing will ever replace the genius that is the original, although I do think we got pretty close. This is a really good version, and you've got to hear it because Erica and Tina sound as amazing as they ever have. And I know that my husband right now is sitting back at the piano going, why are you talking about this song so much? Because we are not singing it because we could never possibly do that song as a piano vocal because that's what he says when I bring up things like this. He's like, honey, that, that's not a piano vocal. You can't do that one as a piano vocal. But if anybody can do it, I actually really believe that he can. So what if we did just like a verse, chorus? <laughs> Don't look at me that way. <laughs> I'm telling you, we can do it. I'm telling you, we can make it happen. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, I believe in you. 
I believe in you. How about like a verse, chorus, bridge, chorus? Can we? We can? Yes? <laughs> In the corners of my mind, I just can't seem to find a reason to believe that I can break free. Cause you see, I have been down for so long, feel like all hope is gone. But as I lift my hands, I understand that I should raise you through my circumstance. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. All right, I just want to praise you. I just want to praise you Oh, you broke the chains Now I can't lift my hands hey. And I'm gonna praise you Yeah, I'm gonna praise you Been through the fire and the rain oh. Bound in every kind of way yeah. The God has broken every chain so happy is because we're about to do a song that I'm going to try not to cry. So it, I, I had to get like all the happy, dancey vibes going. Um, honestly, the way to make you feel my love, um, the reason that we recorded this song, it was actually back in 2019. And we were on a family vacation. Uh, we were in the Pacific Northwest. We were driving down the I-5 and um, towards a family vacation at the ocean with my family. And I remember that my three daughters were sitting across the back seat together in our rental car. And I remember they were telling me about this they were telling me about this Adele song they love to make you feel my love. And I was like, okay, Adele has an unbelievable version of that song, but that's not actually an Adele song. It's a Bob Dylan song. And so I pulled up the original and played it for them. And we started talking about it. And I, I can't really explain why in that moment, this song hit me in such a profound way, but I'm just driving down the I-5 and it gets to that verse that says, I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue, I'd go crawling down the avenue. There's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Um, and as I was looking at my kids, it was just like, that's exactly what I would say to you. like. That's my heart's cry to you. And I know that Bob Dylan did not write this song from a mother's perspective to her children, but I can't think of any other sentiment that more describes, better describes what I would say to my girls. And I remember I started to cry in the car and my kids were like, are you crying right now? And I'm like, I am crying right now. And I started to explain to them why. And I said, oh my word, could you imagine if I ever did this song and what if grandma sang on it? And then they started to cry. They were like, grandma. And then we're all crying in the car. And then you fast forward to 2023. And I went, oh my word. I remember this moment in the car with the kids and I thought, wouldn't it be incredible to actually do that? My husband flew to my parents who still live in my childhood home and that basement that I would always flash the lights on and off and introduce myself and come sliding in on my socks and singing to my hairbrush. 
That's the basement that he recorded my 83-year-old mom singing those words. And um, this is a gift. My three daughters are singing all the little backgrounds on it. This is a gift that will honestly live on through generations of my family, if for no one else. This is a song for all of my family. But I think for all of you, whether you're a mom or a dad, I think this is the cry of all of our hearts for our kids. <laughs> when the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I would offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear And there is no one left to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my I'll try to never do you wrong I've known it from the moment that we met There's no doubt in my mind where you belong I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue I'd go crawling down the avenue Oh no, there's nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love The storms are raging on the rolling sea And on the highway Like me, yeah. I could make you happy, make your dreams come true. Oh no, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. Go to the ends of the earth for you to make you feel my love. Feel my love to make you feel my love. Ah! Um. Okay, trying to recover. Um, honestly, I know that my mom and my dad are watching right now. And when I think about all the seasons of my life, I just wanna say thank you for how you've loved me, how you've always been there. Every single season, the good and the bad, you've championed me, you've believed in me, you've taught me about what actual real religion looks like what staying faithful looks like, what staying committed looks like. And I can't get this far in and not look back and just say thank you for your legacy of love. Um, I could never find enough words to say thank you and I love you with all of my heart. Can't think of a better song to finish with tonight. I actually remember hearing this song on our own vinyl player in my parents' house. Andre Crouch, one of the greatest songwriters to ever live, um, wrote a song that will live 
generation after generation after generation. I could never begin to say thank you enough for all that God has done for me. When I have been faithless, He has always remained faithful. So how could I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved, yet you came to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be. to thee to God be the glory to God be the glory to God You're 
Thank you so much for joining us tonight, spending your evening with us. I just want to remind you, tonight only, you can get the brand new Project Seasons, $5, autographed. Again, there's just nothing replacing holding something tangible in your hand. So grab a copy, grab them for your family, for your neighbors, for your friends, and I cannot wait to hear from you what this project means to you. Thank you again.